Hey everyone, it's Sara. Um, I'm finally done with my first year of med school. It was a really crazy, intense ride and um, I'm just glad it's over. I've heard it's the worst year, so I hope that's true. <laughs> and uh, I'm looking forward to starting next year, which actually starts really soon. Um, I'm only home for a little while, but since I was home, I made a lush run and stocked up on some of my favorite stuff and bought quite a few new products that I've never tried before. Um, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. The first Lush haul I've done in a very, very long time. I went to the Lush in Tyson's Corner and I bought, as you can see, a whole lot of stuff. Because um, I figure, you know, I don't have a Lush near my school and uh, I don't really go there very often anymore. I want to apologize in advance for my nails. They look really crappy. First, I'm going to start off with Ocean Salt. This is not a new product. I've, I've used this before. I finally ran out of my first um, batch. I just use it on my face as a really nice scrub about once a week. And it did last me an entire year, this tiny little um, smaller size container. Um, this is actually something brand new to me. It is the Mint Juleps Lip Scrub. Um, I wasn't really sold on the idea of getting a lip scrub um, because I usually just um, use Vaseline the night before and then just use a toothbrush and it works fine for me. But I did give this a try in the store and I was very impressed with it and it's really, really delicious. Um, you can actually lick this off when you're done because it's mainly just sugar and edible oils. So this was $8.95. Um, it smells just like Thin Mint Girl Scout cookies which is what originally got me excited about it. The next thing that I got here is something I've never tried before. This is the Sunnyside Bubble Bar. It smells very citrusy and fresh. Um, it's this gorgeous, glittery, golden uh, bubble bar. And uh, based on the uh, demonstration they did at the store, this is supposed to turn your bath water a really gorgeous color. It's supposed to look like liquid gold. Um, it's very glittery, it's very like glamorous. And I'm hoping to cocktail it with You've Been Mangoed, which is another thing I bought. It is a bath melt. Um, it smells like mango and uh, citrus. And it actually smells a lot like the Avo Bath bath bomb. I'm not gonna hold on to this for very long because it's gonna melt instantly in my hands. Um, it's just supposed to moisturize your bath and I have no doubt that it will. So I'm probably gonna cocktail those two together and make a very citrusy, glittery, <laughs> golden bath. Um, and then the next thing I got is the Brazen Honey Face Mask. Um, they discontinued my favorite mask, a crash course in skincare. Yeah, I really liked that one. This is my second favorite one. They usually run out of this. So I was really happy that they had it in the store. It's, um, it's very effective. It's very brightening and scrubby. Just this yellow grainy scrub. And I think it smells really good. Some people smell, think it smells really weird. I actually like the smell. It's kind of vaguely smells like saffron and um, flowers, wildflowers. So no complaints. Um, the next thing that I got was another new product. This is the Twilight Bath Bomb. And again, I don't know how new these products are. Uh, this is just the first time that I saw them in stores, and I think they were actually released um, last year. So they're still relatively new, but I've never tried this before. This is the Twilight Bath Bomb. It's really pretty. It looks like a speckled purple egg. Um, and it smells amazing. It, it smells like a combination between the Butterball Bath Bomb and the Sex Bomb Bath Bomb. It has this like floral scent, but it also smells kind of like vanilla. Um, it's supposed to be like an Ovaltine Lavender mix, um, and it's supposed to be really gorgeous in the bath. Uh, the sales associate, by the way, her name was Iman. She's amazing. She's a really nice girl, um, and she gave me a generous amount of samples. But uh, like pink, purple, and then blue, and it's supposed to release some silver shimmer. And it smells amazing. I can't wait to use this before bed. So that's the first bath bomb I got. I got another bath bomb. Um, this is another new one. It's called the Fizz Banger. 
and smells like apple cinnamon and toffee. Um, it's just this yellow balm. It's just this bright yellow balm. Let's see if I can. It smells so amazing. Um, and it's supposed to change colors in the bath. Um, these new bath bombs are supposed to be um, slower at fizzing out, and they're supposed to be very dramatic. Um, this one apparently starts off yellow, and then it turns blue, and then it turns green. And it like ends up making your water like a bright green. Um, so I'm really excited to try that. It smells really fresh. It smells like apples. It's supposed to release a slightly different scent as it fizzes out, like something more like caramel or um, more cinnamon notes or something like that. So it changes color and scent in the tub, and I thought that was really cool. And um, I originally went in thinking I was going to get uh, Big Blue and Sex Mom, which are my two favorite bath bombs. But they were, they've actually gone up in price. They're actually $6.45 each now. Um, but these two new ones that I bought, the Twilight and the um, um, Fizz Banger, are actually the same size, but they're only $4.95. And it sounds like they do a lot more cool stuff in the bath, um, and they also smell amazing. So I'm really excited to try that. I'll probably um, cocktail the Fizz Banger with um, my sunny side bubble bar and see how that works. It's like a citrus and an apple. I think it'll, I think it'll smell good. Um, we'll see. I'll let you guys know. Um, the next thing that I got was Rub 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 Shower Scrub. Um, this was, I think, $18.95 for 11.6 ounces. Um, it it smells just like Sakura bath bomb. It's this dark blue. It actually looks really bright blue on the screen, but it's actually kind of a dark blue. Um, it's a salt scrub for the body. It smells like cherry blossoms and mimosa. Um, and I like this because it's a non-greasy scrub, which is great when it's the middle of summer and you don't want to use a traditional oil and sugar scrub. I usually use Trader Joe's lavender salt scrub, which is amazing most of the year for my dry skin. But in the middle of July, I really don't feel like having all that oil on my skin. And so I thought this scrub would be a nice alternative in the warmer months. Um, so I got that. And then, because I bought so much stuff, um, the sales lady, Iman, um, decided that she was going to throw in a freebie for me. So she gave me a free Joy of Jelly, shower jelly. As you guys know, I love the shower jelly. It's purple, it's wobbly, it's a lot of fun to use. Um, you just you stick it in your freezer so it hardens up a little bit and then you can crush it on a bath poof and use it in the shower. It lathers up really well. It's very gentle, it's not drying, and it smells just like sex bomb, which is an amazing scent. So I got the 3.5 ounce um, Joy of Jelly, uh, free with my purchase. I actually went in to also purchase the smaller size ocean salt to use on my face, um, but unfortunately they were out of stock and I wasn't sure when the next time would be that I would be able to come in. So Iman was really nice. She fixed me a really generous size sample of it. This is almost an ounce. I could probably get six to ten uses out of this um, to hold me over before the next time we come in. So many thanks to Iman. And that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed my haul and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.